Okay, so as it turns out, today we weren't <laughs> we weren't going to do any filming at this particular park. We've been here before and we've gotten a lot of bullets and bullets and bullets and some old coins back in the past. I like bullets. Well, she got a fish scale here on one of her one of her finds. I did get a fish scale just over that way. <laughs> so, anyways, today I was digging my hole. This is my first. Well, first I pulled up. Hold on a second. First I pulled up a bullet. There you go. My first one was a bullet. Yeah. She's got a hole over there that she didn't find her bullet yet. No. I haven't given up on it though, but you need to go get the camera so I filled it in. Yeah. As I dug this hole, I got a 31 on the 8-track, which was very similar to the bullet. So I was expecting a bullet down to 7 inches. I ended up pulling up a Chinese cash coin. And before I knew it, I just swung the dirt with my pinpointer, the dirt that I already pulled out, because there's almost two holes. I got two holes here, unfortunately, because my pinpoint wasn't off, but there was two of them. I thought my pinpoint was kind of larger than it should have been. And I'm getting another Chinese cash coin with it. So I'm like, whoa. And one slightly smaller than the other, so there are two different denominations. Yeah, the denominations are a little bit different. Yeah. So um, it'll be interesting for me to uh, look these up and see what dynasty they are. Yeah. And I pull up the camera now because, hey, I'm finding coins. I'm going to start filming, you know, <laughs> but more bullets. Uh, I already have a video of these bullets that I dug when I came up to Ottawa, um, what, a month and a half ago. And we have another jar from other times yeah. we've been here. So I didn't even <laughs> post that video yet, me coming to this park and getting bullets and bullets and bullets and, bu and even other fantastic old bullets. How many bullets do you want to see me pull out of the ground? I don't know. So, anyways. I'm okay with bullets. <laughs> so anyways, we'll carry on with two Chinese cash coins. So now I'm going to carry the camera around with me and do some filming if I get anything more interesting or if Judy gets something a little bit more interesting. So bear with us. Murphy's Law says we won't though because now we're carrying the camera. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> Good job, mate. Thank you. <laughs> almost like there's two. There's one here and one there. Okay, so I turned the camera back on because I didn't check my, I didn't I only checked the dirt with my pinpointer when I had the dirt out on my on my thing and I've got the two points. Now that I swung over I got another signal. Now Judy's coming over to try it. Just so she has an idea what these might sound like. Here, I'll let you listen to hers. It's hitting up in the third jumping from 30. Try this way like this. I was getting it really good like that. Well, yours is hitting up in the 30s. 39, 40 on the e-track. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Hopefully it's another coin. Yeah, there's my blanket. Of course it'll be another coin because I haven't found anything yet. <laughs> All right, try there. I don't think it's any deeper. It's showing three inches. It's got to be in the like, same dirt. It's in there. Yeah, it is another cash coin. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> it's not a, a it's got a hole in it, though. Well, it's close to a cash coin. Here, you've got good eyes. You can check it out. I got good eyes. So it is three. <gasps> I mean, it's not Canadian. I'm going to turn my pinpointer on. I'll check my hole without my pinpointer on. Oh. Okay. This time there's nothing else of Canada. In my hole. Sir Isaac Brock. Oh, no way. Come on. Isaac Brock. Oh, it's a Brock token. Something hero of Canada. We just got one. Yeah. No, this one's different. We don't. Success. To commerce, peace to the world. Oh, cool. I was just going to say that we got one on a video with Ted in the farm field, a Brock token, but this one's a different one. So it's a different variation. Different Brock token. That's awesome. I can't. I know. You left them at home. And I won't <laughs> tell you where. 
Oh, that might be embarrassing. <laughs> I wonder if I got them in my pouch. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about glasses. My loop is in the truck as usual. I'll just have to rely on her eyes. Can I use your glasses? Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'll have to show you on a close up later because I, I, I mean, I see writing on there, but I don't yeah. see much else. Right? I just read it all to you. Let me read it to you. No, again. no, I heard what you said. Oh. <laughs> but it's got like a number there, and there's like a, there's like, I don't see Brock, I don't see, I don't see a person. I don't see That's anything a like that. year, a, something, oh, something six. 1806. No, maybe. No. Well, I mean, it shot right through the number. <laughs> Fantastic. And here I thought it was another, hey, hold on a second, if there's a hole in that, so the, the Chinese cash coins had the holes in them, yeah. and that has a hole in them. So they're probably all tied together. And right? it looks like cherubs in the back. See the cool. wings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two little, I guess they're angels, kind of. And like a, a looks like an olive branch or yeah. something protecting the top of the monument. Coin spill. Yeah. Two Chinese coins and a Brock coin. Yeah. Something 06. It starts with the one and ends with the six. Fantastic. We'll be able to find that. <laughs> I love it. Well, that's a good start. Hmm. Now we're not going to yeah. find anything. That's it. We're done. <laughs> we're done for the day. Fantastic. Three in one hole. You better check your hole again. I just checked with my pin pointer, but not with my check. With, check. <laughs> Swing it with your detector sitting here. Pretty quiet now. Fantastic. Now at least I can justify my double plug because with three coins, they probably were spread a little bit apart. Hence why I had to dig such a big plug in this park, which I don't like to do, but I'm still going to make sure I put that back and make it really unnoticeable. But as unnoticeable as possible. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, on to the uh, next one. Yay. Okay, so Judy, Judy dug this plug out thinking it was a bullet. She uh, hit some roots and she gave up on it. Then I came over to swing it just to hear what it was. Oh, you're hitting something solid now. Yeah. And I got a really good signal on it. So I said, you got to dig this thing out, even though, I mean, roots and all. It's uh, it's probably a bullet, but after digging up those two cash coins with on the bullet. On a full stomach. <laughs> bent over. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, Judy ended up getting a, uh, well, you tell them what you got. I so got far. A, hmm? So far what you got. So, I, so far, I got a beautiful 1901 Indian head penny in very good shape. Right there. So she got an Indian head in the hole. That sounds like something else. Something else. A lot of something else's, or it's one big something else. I think that's why I gave up because I couldn't find whatever it was. I had probably already dug up the Indian head and put it back in. I always uh, not trusting this thing. Okay, put it in there again. Yeah, save your Indian head. Wow, that is in really good shape, eh? Dirt's quiet. Hole's loud. I said the dirt's quiet and the hole's loud. Just an Indian, just got an Indian head penny, 1901. Really? Well, it's an old park, so you're gonna. Oh no, get some old I know. Stuff That's amazing. There was a woman last year who found a 1920 um, fish scale, you know, yep. the nickel? Yep. Right over there. Hi! That's you! <laughs> okay! Right near a picnic table? That would be me! <laughs> okay, so you guys, yeah, you even told me that the park usually gives something good. Yeah. Thank you, now I gotta edit that out. <laughs> What's that? Well, I, we do YouTube, oh, so I'm filming YouTube we don't right tell now. Them oh, park really? We're at. Okay, sorry. Oh, it's okay, I can just bleep that out. We bleep it out because then we end up getting a bunch of people that metal, that would come metal detecting here, and some people wouldn't do good holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the people that do come, we know them so that we know how well they do their holes. Okay. Right? Yeah, sure. Gotcha. Yeah. I've got five coins. That's even in pretty good shape. Very good shape. Very good shape. Wow. Over a hundred years in the in the ground, probably. Some parks, these things will be green as all. Hell. I mean, they're so green you can't get anything off them anymore. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. this park, they tend to come out pretty pretty clean. Yeah. Just the soil conditions. Right? Yeah. Help us out. So you were the one who found that. Place. I found a fish scale last year. Over yeah, that way, I remember yeah. I was sitting on that side of the park. Yeah. Is that what you the best you've done today? This one? That's my first and only so far today. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. No, and then today, he, couple. He's gotten some good stuff, yeah. Already three, today. Three coins yeah. in one hole. Two, two Chinese cash coins. Oh my gosh. 
from the probably eight, early 1800s, and then this one's a probably 1805, 1806 Brock token with a hole in it. They were probably all tied together. See the hole that's in yeah, the middle? Yeah, yeah. And these had holes. So they, these didn't have holes on purpose, but they did. They used to ride horseback. So they'd put strings through them and put them, wrap them yeah, around I, a button yeah. in their coats. Or sew they, them into the inside of their jackets or a pocket. Or why yeah. would they have Chinese coins? The Chinese immigrants the that immigrated here, they did. They built our railroads. Yeah. They so they brought the their money. They built the railroads. Yep. Yeah. And then they would accept their, their money as uh, coinage. You probably gave them a lot less for what they were worth, but they were able to use them for coinage. We were yes. doing some research yeah. on shepherd's pie because his family called it pâté chinois, which is Chinese pie. Because yeah. the Chinese used to feed the French guys yeah. and they got the recipe from the British guys that were building the railroad. <laughs> so they called it shepherd's Shep pie, or, or, or in French. Uh, shepherd's pie was uh, pâté chinois. chinois. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I know I live on the Quebec side and when it's pâté chinois, it's just like you put a whole bunch of stuff in, whatever yep. you're going to make. Potatoes, I know hamburger meat. corn. Yep. Corn, corn in yep. there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and other shepherd's pies don't have corn. Yeah, we're going to pause this until we find whatever, la whatever else is here. <laughs> okay, so I just dug up a... I just dug up a... Uh, a bullet. <laughs> I'm not sure on the caliber of these. I looked them up before and I forget. So, I forget. But anyways, it's got two rings on it. See the two rings? And uh, I think it's a rifled. Yeah, I can see some rifling marks on it. So this one's a rifled one. But they probably date from the turn of the century. And uh, Judy's got a similar signal, but a little bit higher up in the, than, the, uh, than my bullet range. This was in the 34. She's getting about 37. It's a coin. What? It's a coin. All right. Well, here's the coin. <laughs> Baby. Kind of coin. Uh, uh, you might want to turn around because uh, your butt's on camera. <laughs> well, I didn't plan for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so what is it? All right, what do you got? 19, 13, Ooh, one penny. cent. She got a large penny. <laughs> nice. Now is All that right. George? 19, 13 would be George. Yep. Yeah. Did you scratch him? No. I don't think I scratched him. Well, I wouldn't consider that a scratch, would you? Let's see. I plucked him out of the wall. Oh, uh, there's a nick mark there. Mm. Yeah, maybe. It could be an old nick mark. Moonbab <laughs> Take two. Could be an old Nick Mark. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Nice. I agree with that statement. Cool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to know that the that the coins are still here. Considering the last few times I've been coming in bullet, 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 bullet. Right? So there you go, 1913. Mine. <laughs> Perfect. Way to go. Nice one. Okay, so I just turned the camera on, and before he just turned the camera on, she we thought it was a bullet. Cause My she dug exact it. words were, ah, ha, 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 it's not a, it's not a bullet. <laughs> she dug it out, she dug out her hole, she didn't find anything. I, I came over to swing, I said, I think I'll hold a hair or a signal, and then I didn't bother turning the camera on, because I was assuming it was going to be a bullet. And as soon as I said, ah, whatever, I'll film her getting a bullet. I turned it on, and... <laughs> and it's a large set. All right. Queen Victoria. From Look how deep that was. 1876. Wow, cool. It's in beautiful shape. Well, that one's got a hole in it, too. That's what I said, it's got a hole in it, yeah. Boy, whoever's riding, you know what makes sense? I guess a lot of people would ride horseback along the river, and they had to tie their coins inside their uh, inside their uh, jackets or whatever. And military boys who didn't want to lose it, they, their moms would sew money into their pockets. Wow, well, I can't even see the date from this one. Yeah. That's it's a beauty. really good shape. Yeah, wow. except for the hole. Well, okay, but we know why the hole's there. Yep. Cool. That's another one. And she wants to leave here in about 20 minutes, she said. Well, 30 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Guess we can always come back another time. Yeah. I'm, I'm witnessing just behind the camera the, I don't know what you call that, swarm of bugs over there. And I don't want to get eaten alive. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, cool. Well, another one. Another coin. Yay. You're doing really good. Nice one. <laughs> We scan the hole though in case there is a bullet. <laughs> right? Bugs. Yeah. I'm not assuming there's a bullet anymore because today has been bullet, coin, bullet, coin, bullet, coin. And normally it's bullet, 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 bullet. Right? Well, so. the last time you we were here, you got all the bullets, so now we're finding the coins. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Nice find. 
bit better. Okay, upon further evaluation of the hole, what did you end up finding in the same hole, but even just off to the side? A bullet. It's another one of those gigantic three ringers. So this bullet in the uh, large panty were in the same hole, but not at the same depth. Yeah. Or maybe at the same depth, who knows, but at least not in the it, same vicinity. They're yeah. about four inches apart. The bullet was, yeah, in the side wall. I, it, it came up as a really wonky signal, which I called you over and you, you said, yeah, there's something else in there. Yeah, it was hitting it between a 34 and a 37. The 37 would have been the higher conductive one, probably the coin. Mm -hmm. And the 34 was definitely part of the bullet. Yeah, because I was ringing through a bunch of numbers when I originally yeah. said about the coin, so. Oh, cool. All right, nice find. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, for this one, I'm gonna let Judy do the honors. I got a signal and it sounded, uh, still kind of sound like a bullet, but it was a 34. 34? Really? Yeah, 34. So, anyways, I'll let you get it. Yeah! Look at that ugly looking grub in there. Let's see what it's it is. Get in here, Mr. Grub. Put you up there. Oh no, I missed him. <laughs> Grub lost the silver. You didn't lose the silver. It's small. Well, it's, it's a dime. <laughs> yes. Cool. 1888. Whoa! No way, it's Vicky dying there. Oh it is. my goodness. That's fantastic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Very good shape, by the way. Yeah, yeah. A little, no, Vicky's not very good shape on the back. I can see her, but hey, I mean. <laughs> We've had much worse. <laughs> Beautiful. I wouldn't say she's in fantastic shape, but she's in good shape. I can't see the dip. Oh. Don't. I can't see a date, but I'll take her word for it. 18 what? 1888. It sounds like I'm yelling, so I got my headphones on. Boy. Yeah. Awesome. We're having a really good day There's here still for coins. a lot of detail in her hair. You can see her ear. Good. Uh, a bunch of, a bit of her eye. Yeah. It's a young Victoria. Cool. Awesome. Mm. Very nice. And we're leaving in like five minutes. <laughs> cool figure. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we might have to come back during the uh, midweek and uh, do some more detective, right? Yeah. yeah. Now the coins are coming out again. Right. So I just hope it doesn't rain. What? I said you're all excited. I'm all excited because the coins are coming up again. Because like I said, for the last, when we first came out today, I just said to Judy, I go, I'm not going to do any filming because we're just going to get bullets. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm only doing this video because I'm pulling up coins instead Three. of pulling up bullets. So. Four coins for you. Right, that many, right? You've one, two, three, three, four. That's right, four. That's, That's right. Four. And two, you got, three. You got four too. Did I get four? I think so. You know, my math is not what it used to be. I think I got three. Okay. Two largies and the Indian. Two largies and the Indian. So you got three. So we're doing really well. Wow, this is awesome. Cool. Da -da -da. I'm not putting it in my, your <laughs> mine. I'm checking. Here. There we go. And it's getting much nicer out right now, so oh, yes. hopefully when we come during the uh, midweek, it's, um, it's supposed to get really hot next weekend, so I don't want to come out. We've got three. So that's seven. That's seven coins. That's awesome. Cool. And one silver. And a partridge and a pear tree. But I still haven't checked my hole, so I'm going to recheck <laughs> my hole and see if there is anything else. But, wow, silver. Love it. First silver of the day. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so after I got up and uh, turned the camera off and then I swung my hole, I got another signal. That's what I got. Bullet. So there's a bullet in there with the silver dime. So, I guess, like, I was, after you've been digging so many of these bullets at this place, you tend to start to ignore some of the bullets because you know it's another bullet and you don't dig it. But if there's coins that, that Judy's was mixed in with a bullet, and now this one's mixed in with a bullet. So, guess what? I'm going to start digging. I guess I got to dig everything. Everyone out there, please don't make a comment because I know you will. Why don't you just dig up everything? Dig all the bullets out. There's hundreds of bullets here. So I guess I could dig them all out. I don't know if I sound like I'm whining or not, but it's a lot. You, you tend to get tired of digging bullet after bullet. Anyways, I don't want to ramble too much, but I'm going to start digging every bullet because look, bullet, coin, bullet, coin. So I'm not passing them up, but we're leaving in five minutes. You keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, we're leaving in five minutes, so then, you know, I'm going to dig every bullet from now on. <laughs> Especially after getting a silver in there with a bullet. Just but. say we're coming back.
<laughs> okay, here we are doing the uh, roundup, and uh, what a good day we had at uh, this particular place. Surprising mm -hmm. that I was just expecting all bullets and uh, end up with uh, lots of bullets, as you can see here. Oh, looks like my pile got two, three, seven, um, eight, eight big thick ones, two thin ones, and Judy's got three big thick ones and four thin ones. Almost one coin for every two bullets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <sighs> While we were out there, we had a visit from a police officer because somebody called the police on us. Um, I guess they, you know, they thought, hey, there are people out there digging in the park. I mean, you see the shovels that we're using in this. They do make people see you doing, they think you're digging holes. I mean, and we're right across from, can I say? No, no. no. There's a reason for them to call besides just digging. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, our, our little tiny shovels do draw a little bit more attention to the fact that we, that we're, you know, making marks in the grass if that's the way you want to see it. But my little shovels or our little shovels do the same amount of impact as a little trowel does for the most part. He asked us what we found. Yep. He watched us dig what we were digging. Yep. He had no problem with it, so. Exactly, he had no issue whatsoever. Yep. He saw how our holes were dug and how we put our grass back and uh, how we left it. Um, it was just a matter of someone saw us with the shovels and, you know, assumed that, hey, there's people digging in the park, they call the police and they show up. So I don't have any qualms using my shovels and the police show up and I show them what I do. And they see that we're not really digging, so it's all good, right? <laughs> it all turned out well. So he left us alone and uh, went on his merry way. And it's all good. I was curious if he was on rollerblades or skateboard. <laughs> Squirrel! Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, you have yourself a uh... great day. Yes. Or evening, if you're watching this in the evening. And we'll catch you Dig on the next on. one. Yes. Is it best to say that? Dig on. Dig on. Dig on. You just said it. Okay, cheers. <laughs>